many things about the baptismal name. Let me draw another picture. If anybody has a pen and paper, I, you need to do this. Draw yourself an archway, just like uh, uh, you would think of as an arch um, through, you know, a doorway, an, arch, an actual arch. You want to know who your arch enemy is? This is, I mean, I know there's a lot of wordplay here, but that's all this is. All the words are just spells that bind you. You're spellbound for crying out loud. Here it, is, here it goes. It, and I'm using my name, so just put your name in here. You got an arch. On the left side of the arch, let's say at about 10 o'clock up there where it starts to make the curve, put in your, 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 your given name, in my case, Curtis. On the right side at about 2 o'clock, you put in the surname or family name, Colin Bach. Well, here's what's interesting about this. At, at about to, at perfectly at 12 o'clock, make yourself a pie shape or a pizza shape um, uh, corner stone or keystone. Well, here, it's, a, it's a keystone. It's not a cornerstone, but it's a keystone. And, and put the middle name or initial into that keystone. What is that thing? What is that keystone? Okay, got what? it. Going to share. Uh, this is going to get hard and fast with people, so pay attention. Key, Greek letter, shaped like an X. You have key ro, which is Rome, uh, uh, ro being spirit breath, and the key, which is a double cross. When you put an X in the mirror, it's, it is the opposite, right? But think of think of it in terms of the key stone or the life stone. Key chi in in uh, in Asian is life, right? So just want to just want to make sure that people are are listening and seeing outside of the box here, and how critical listening to Phoenician law and what it's all about. This is unbelievable. Keep going, Kurt. Keep going. And, and, and I, I want to build on what you said before I finish up. The X, the Greek X, is also. I mean, it's chi as well, and it, that's yep. the vital essence. That's that's called yep. vital, and also the X. Which is, which is, this is all going to fit together, folks. It, just hang in there. The X itself, the, the, uh, the St. Andrew's X, or cross, is actually uh, the, is, is the, uh, the sigil of, of Spain. It, I mean, when you look at the Spanish flag, the, the, the Spanish uh, Empire, it's, it's, the, it's the red St. Andrew's cross. And, and and so just keep all this in mind as I keep going. So where was I? I was talking about the, uh, the okay, the arch. I'm 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 drawing a picture of you for you're gonna you're gonna finally see who your arch enemy is. So I have Curtis on the left, Kallenbach on the right, and in my pie shape at twelve o'clock that cuts that that cuts right in the middle of this <clears throat> is the middle name. What is the middle name? Well, first of all, around 1900, the middle name didn't really exist. In Roman times, there is the middle name means something, and I'll explain that real quick. But the middle name never existed in America until around 1900. Why did they introduce the middle name then? Why did they create the middle name then? Because they needed the keystone, the philosopher's stone, the, the lens through which the light shines upon. I mean, th here we go. So if you got your picture of your arch there. Curtis is, is the uh, given name in most people's minds. It's the proper name. In fact, it's the only name. Kallenbach, the surname, is, is the family. What's funny about the keystone is it separates Curtis from his family. It separates, it divides, it's a wedge between the two. But it's also holding together those two to create, through alchemy, through 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 a you know a, a form of alchemy now it has Curtis Richard Kallenbach creating an, an entirely different character it's not so it divides Curtis from Kallenbach as well as holds it together in a new alchemical uh, form this is your arch enemy this is your antithesis this is the opposite of being in fact when you hear to be or not to be this is the not to be. This is your arch enemy. Curtis Richard Kallenbach is the arch enemy of life. It is, it actually is death. In fact, if you think of the arch, it's the same damn shape as a tombstone. So take, take Curtis Richard Kallenbach off the top of that arch and put it in all caps with, uh, on it and you got yourself your tombstone. Curtis Richard Kallenbach is the dead entity. It has nothing to do with me.